Hello viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Unleashed. Um, in the last episode we did a lot of Diagate searching, still couldn't get everything though, for some reason. Um, but in this episode we'll start on the secret missions we unlock, and we did unlock a lot of secret missions. I think we just gotta beat them all and see where that leads us. Um, I mean, I don't, you know... Things will become a lot clearer once we beat all of these. And hopefully one of these isn't too hard. I mean... Oh, well this, the point of this is to get a hundred rings, and since I already missed several... Okay, this is not good. Not a good start. And this one does not seem, like, hard, but... One. Speaking of which, is this a new level, or is this like a level we've done before? I'm not, I think this is a new level. Yeah, this is one I remember, but when do I remember it from? Oh well. Whoa. That was really close to death. We don't want to die. Um, Alright, we got this. So even though we missed a lot of those rings, we still did this quite easily. Okay, that's one moon medal that brings us to 94, to 64. Like the Nintendo 64. Oh, haven't heard that one before, have you? 9764. Um, and we have another, we actually have another one in two now. I'm kind of doing these by the order of like when we first unlocked the worlds. I don't know why. I mean, I don't need to. I mean, because Adabat's right there, I might just do that one next. Why not? Shoot, there might be items in these levels, and I'm not even checking for that. That's a bad idea to not be checking for that. Now, what I can say about, you know, what I think is a missing metal, what I can always do as a last resort, now this is the same level we just did, so it must have been a new level. They wouldn't use the same alternate level three times, would they? Um... What I can always do, well this one's a time attack. Um, what I'm gonna do if I on if I cannot find the 69th moon medal, um, I'm not gonna beat the final boss just yet. Um, but uh what I'm gonna do is that's stressful, like they don't come up right. So like I'm just gonna scan, do a complete and thorough scan of the guidebook and compare the missions in the game to the missions that it says in the book, see which one I don't have, and it tells you how to unlock all the secret missions, and so that seems like a foolproof plan for me. Um, I think we just missed the shortcut, but, okay. So yeah, this is cool. Um, like, I'm guessing that these are parts that they wanted to include in the main level, but, you know, couldn't. Because, or parts that, like, I don't know. I mean, just still, like, you know, after playing this game so much, I forget that there exists a version that's almost entirely different. Which is really weird. But, uh, that's the way it is. Yeah, that was a bad idea, but, um, I'll try to take a look now as I'm scanning to the next level. We got some in Adabat and Shamar. Um, okay, wait, two, nine, well, that's going to be at the back where all the secret, no, not the way back, but like the, near the way back. Okay, I'm sorry, I know you guys hate when I do this. I hate when I do it. Um, two non gather rings at top two. Yeah, that's what I just did. And there was indeed an item on that stage. Wait a minute. Sure enough was, but uh, I'll save that for later. But at least I know that there is now. Okay, we got three daytime missions. I think one of them was one that we already had. Just for the heck of checking, any nighttime missions here? Two. Okay, we're gonna be spending a lot of time in Adabat, I'll tell you that. 
Um, I'm gonna try to balance them out just for the heck of it. Like, I'll switch off the daytime and the nighttime one. Time attack, race for the gold. Switch, switch. Time attack, race. Is this the first one? Um, I don't see any items at all. Well, except for the last one, but that's, uh, that's entirely different. Like, that's one that we don't even have right now. Okay, this was a time attack, right? And we got another different stage, so... We're actually playing things that are new to the game, or, I mean, new that we haven't seen before, and I don't remember too well. But, see, that's the thing. Even though these are new and I don't remember too well, now that was completely my fault, and I will be the first to admit responsibility. But you don't see me failing too much when it's not my fault, because that's exactly what I mean. Like, the game's not based off of trial and error. Like, I can only say... Because, oh, there aren't really that many stages and I play them over and over and over again for so long. That's not true. I can tell you that I haven't played this stage over and over again. But it's not based on trial and error. And it's still fun. Like, I think that, you know, in a Sonic game, you know, I mean, I'm not really sure, you know, I mean, I don't like to criticize them for trying to make the level challenging, but... Wait a minute, this must have been what they said. Either that or it wasn't in the book. I might fail, but... Yeah. So, I mean, it just... When I fail, I feel like it's my fault. They I mean, just... Hmm. Don't know. It's so hard for me to like compare the games. And then there's the whole werehog aspect, and I think I already got into like a five minute discussion about this in some other video, right? And can you really call it a discussion when there's no one except me? So, uh... But you didn't even have a boost, so why did you try to boost? Okay. I mean, it should be challenging, because it's the end of the game, so... And it's a secret level, end of the game. And when you talk about these kind of time missions, I mean, it should be challenging. What I was going to say before is that, you know, in a Sonic game, maybe they shouldn't, like, make the levels hard to beat, but just make it hard to get a good rank, sort of like a Kirby's Epic Yarn kind of style. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying make it impossible to die, but, I mean, that works for Kirby's Epic Yarn, in my opinion. Hmm. I wonder if I'm still going to do a Let's Play of that game. Uh, it's, it's back? Well, clearly I know that... Okay. Uh, well, you saw that item, so I'll get that one off screen. And... I'll get the other item that I didn't see in the 2-9 level, because that one requires uh, not going, not getting too many rings, so, not getting too many rings, so that, um, so that you'll be able to get an item that's at the end of the stage. What's this? this? Battle Royale, take on all comers. Got it. Item. Item. Um. Not according to the book, but. Well, the book misses more than one item. It's pretty good, but not, you know, 100%. So. Defeat the entire horde of enemies. Well, if we have a seven minute time limit. Oh, was well, 40 enemies. I'm kind of surprised this Let's Play is still going. I kind of thought I'd be done with it by now, but I'm still enjoying it. That's the thing. I'm not sick of this game yet. Like, sometimes it'll happen where I get sick of a game and I'm excited to move on to the next, and I am excited to do, uh, Metroid Other M. 
but to give that one another shot, and I'm sure that I'll be able to do it. I'm just sure. I'm so sure. I am absolutely positive. I still haven't decided whether I'm going to try to make it 100%. Like, if I followed a guy for that, um, and, like, you know, a guy that, like, kind of told you when you could get items in the first possible time you could get them, if I had a guidebook for a game like that, it would be so much easier. The other thing is I haven't 100%ed it before, and trying to 100% games that I haven't 100%ed before is not always a good thing. The Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door was really the only one that went fine, and that one, I still don't know when I'm going to get back to that. I mean, it seems like if I ever had the chance, you know, now everyone's doing The Thousand Year Door, apparently. Uh, and Siesta started a let's play of that. Um, It'll be weird. I'm watching uh, two different, you know, or two like, two different LP or LP the same game at the same time. Um, the last time I did that was when attacking two cans and Donabells were doing the doors mask at the same time. Now speaking of Donabells, there's something I was kind of wondering. But like, it, 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 I, I swear it has nothing to do with. Um, it has nothing to do with what, um, you know, my, you know, thoughts about Donabells in general, like, which I said on the, um, I blocked, and it didn't work. I didn't know this was going to be this long, so I'm probably, actually, definitely not going to be able to get all of these secret missions done in this level. Where are you? Uh, there's an item here, too. Is that one in the book? No, it's not. It's a good thing that when you are missing the when you are missing the items, you can tell where to get them. Unfortunately, when you're um, you can't do that with the uh, secret missions in the game, and you can't do it with the one ups, which is why I was missing the one up for so long. I don't even know which one I was missing, but. Okay, we're almost done. We only have... At first, I thought I thought we still had 33 left. I'm like, no. No, we only have, like, four left now. Five. Okay. Uh, we gotta get that item, though. As soon as we, uh, kill the last enemy, the stage ends automatically, so... I said we have to get that item. So now we're... How about my Unleash is running out? Oh, wait, I, I got it? Okay. And... I don't have a life count, which means if I fall, I probably have to restart the entire stage. That would be good for a laugh. Now, why is the book missing all these items? Do they just get too lazy? Like the Skyward Sword? Well, I thought the Skyward Sword people got lazy with the, with the gratitude crystals, but I owe them one. But they didn't tell you where that fifth bottle was. Not that I know of. Being a video game guidebook writer is actually kind of what I want to want to do in my life. Um, you know, when I grow up, kind of. I mean, I don't know how much it pays, but I would much rather. I don't know about you, but it's a question that says, "Would you rather be rich with a job you like or poor with a job you hate?" Other way around, actually, because of course you'd rather be rich with a job you like. Would you rather be rich with a job you hate or poor with a job you like? Now, I don't think I'd be poor. I mean, especially since. You know, I don't, I'm not sure, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to meet anyone and, you know, start a family. I don't need to be talking about, like, my life. But I do want to write video game guidebooks, and that, you know, makes me enough money. I mean, I mean, I want, what I want to do is, you know, make videos, but clearly I'm not, I don't look like I can make a career at this. Maybe with commentary, but, I mean, this is just a hobby now, I mean, I, once had a hope of starting a career about this, but, um, I don't. Not anymore. So, can we do one more in this video? I think we can. 
Yeah, let's knock out... Let's knock out... The... Don't break anything along the way. Oh, goody. Let's do it. Are we at the uh, regular level or not? Yeah, we are. It's not at the beginning of it. Oh, you think I'm gonna get those rings? You're kidding, right? No! When he hits you, then he keeps you from, uh, from sidestepping, whatever it's called. Oh yeah, Donna Bells. Um, what I was gonna say, and I don't wanna say it, like, here. I was gonna post a comment about it. Or not really a comment about it, but like, a comment. You know, no one watches this, but like, okay, same thing happened twice. Just something I was wondering, is like, is she like, not getting married anymore? Somehow I get that vibe, but I don't wanna assume anything, because recently heard the phrase, you know, when you assume you make an ass of you and me. Yeah, I, I'm kind of the first I've heard of it, I guess. It's not the most common for fate for you. But that's like they actually referenced in Paper Mario's Thousand Year Door. Like, seriously, they did. They, um, I must have read the text sometime. You know, I gotta go back and watch and see what I said about that. But yeah, they did. They referenced it. They didn't actually say it. Frankly says, like, assuming makes a... Oh, never mind. You know the saying. And then Goombella, or whoever you have in your party, says, oh, no, I don't. I don't know the saying. But anyway. Okay, same thing's happened three times in a row. How are we going to feel this? I mean, it's happened three times. Three times! You took three chunks! Oh, my God. Well, that sounded stupid because I laughed, but I wanted to say that eventually because I liked the line. You took three chunks and threw your hot dogs up over here. I got 13 snakes over here. There, I said it. Um, my laugh is really stupid sometimes. Actually, I think my laugh is stupid in general. Everyone kind of has a different laughing style, and I think mine sucks. So now I have a debate. Am I going to start the next video with me succeeding this? Or am I going to start the next video with that item I missed? Um, the rockets, okay, a item, another, well you saw that one as well, so that one I can get off screen, oh he's gone now, no he's not gone, oh wait, yes he is, um, there's a time limit, but, Like mostly, you want to hit the dash pads and they'll help you. I and mean, they would never put a dash pad there and it would hurt you. I was kind of worried about the camera angle changing. Yeah, that's blocked off. Yeah, I really like this song. Oh my goodness. And we try again. So when he fires the rockets, I'm just going to slow down. At least we have another chance to get this item. It's right there. Okay, we got it that time, so... That's good. Alright. So this part doesn't seem too hard. I just, uh... I missed something. I think. And I never, like, uh... Drifting. Right there seems like an okay spot to do it. Well, I didn't get the dash pad, but I was able to dodge it by other means. Mm -mm. 
I honestly... Yeah, that's where I failed last time. Now what? Well, we're almost at the end now. So... So you see why these aren't my favorite missions? Because, like, they require you to kill the speed. I mean, I'll do it just to get the medal, but... I don't particularly like these missions. But it is nice to get them over with. So that's going to do it for this episode. In the next one, um, I will have gotten the item off screen. And... I will have a... I'll start by getting that other item on screen. Okay? So, bye.